Hello and welcome to another standard gameplay video here in the early access event for the Lost Caverns of Ixalan and today I'm bringing you the Spice with the Millennium Calendar combo kill alongside All Will Be One. So this one mana legendary artifact says whenever we untap one or more permanents during our untap step we get to put that many time counters on the calendar. So if we play it early it will slowly pick up a couple counters and then we can also pay two mana, tap it and then double the number of counters on it. If we somehow get to a thousand or more time counters we can sacrifice it and each opponent loses a thousand life. Now that's not actually our goal, we're simply aiming for around 20 counters on the calendar and then uh, hopefully two spare mana. We get to play all will be one, saying whenever we put one or more counters on any permanent or player it deals that much damage to target opponent, creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. So we play all will be one, activate calendar putting let's say 20 more time counters on it and then we can immediately deal 20 damage to the opponent with all will be one. So that's our game plan. Now for that to work we will need some mana acceleration so we can play this ahead of schedule or maybe wait to play it and activate calendar in one fell swoop to win the game. So we've got four copies of the Iron Crag and then two copies of the Celestis. These are both legendary. Celestis can also help us discard and draw to get rid of access copies we don't need as well as maybe access copies of calendar or all will be one one, since we're typically happy with just a one copy and then of course we can also discard these to our various two mana discard and draw effects two copies of bitter union can also give our creatures haste invasion of mercadia is a battle so it enters with four defense counters which means four damage with all will be one which can be redirected to an opposing creature not going to be transforming the invasion of mercadia very often but it is a possibility and then a Sahili's Lattice can also discard and draw two and can craft with one or more dinosaurs. And we do have four dinosaurs in the deck. The Carnosaur can be discarded for three mana to deal three damage to any creature or planeswalker. So that can also be a bit of early interaction. And then if it ends up in the graveyard, whether we discard it with its own ability or some other way, then for five mana we can craft with one or more dinosaurs, transforming the Lattice into the Mastercraft Raptor, which has a four toughness and power equal to the total power of exiled cards used to craft it. So if we have multiple Carnosaurs in the graveyard we can potentially end up with a 14 powered Raptor, maybe pair it with a haste from reunion and that's another potential win condition besides the combo. And then a Carnosaur we can also cast for 6 mana maybe after ramping into it and then it's a 7-6 Trampler that lets us discover 5 so it could also potentially find our all will be 1 and put it on the battlefield right away. Then at 3 mana we also have 2 copies of the Tunnel Grinder as another way of discarding a bunch of cards from our hand and drawing. Can also pick up some counters and eventually transform into a land which can generate even more value by discovering whenever we cast a permanent spell. And then we've got a full set of Brotherhood's End, which is very much necessary as a sweeper to deal 3 to all creatures and planeswalkers. So that can hopefully keep opposing aggro decks in check and buy us enough time to assemble the combo. And then we also have one copy of the Great Door, which does have plenty of permanent types to go with it in this deck. We've got artifacts aplenty, then a couple enchantments with our two copies of Bitter Union and four copies of All Will Be One. And then we have a couple Planeswalkers, which also count. And then, of course, the battles as well, and then lands. So it's not too difficult to get four or more permanent types in the graveyard to transform this into the core. Now, it does take four mana to do that, and the land still enters tapped. So it's usually not going to be worth it, but just getting to draw and discard every turn is also nice to kind of dig towards those missing combo pieces and then in a grindier matchups where we actually get to transform it it can give us enough mana to consistently cast our Carnosaur or maybe cast multiple of these discard and draw effects in the same turn to assemble the combo. So yeah that's pretty much our entire deck now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. All right we're on the play and uh, yeah our hand seems keepable just missing all will be one to go with calendar, invasion can help dig, and Koth gives us a bit of interaction. Get this going early so it can pick up some counters, so as soon as we drop our enchantments we can activate it to deal a ton of damage. Okay, turn on Swiss Spear, scary. So discard my second calendar, even though they could technically have artifact removal. Next turn Lactus can keep drawing. Second Swiss Spear, alright. So Brotherhood's Ends would be awesome. And there we see Kellen as a one mana sorcery to enable prowess. Well, speak of the devil. So 
So now the boards are a lot more manageable. Koth can take out a single threat and then start plussing. So they still have two map tokens from Kellen. And Pia can also maybe make some thopters here. More map tokens. And another Brotherhood's End. Probably not going to want to destroy artifacts, but it is an option. For now, take out Pia, so we don't have to face any Thopter tokens. And then next turn, we can keep digging with Lattice, try and find all will be one. Aran's Resolve, also good with Pia, finds Dracosaur and a land, so they wouldn't be able to deploy that until next turn. Okay, Lattice. This card, maybe Iron Crag at this point over land. And we could do the same. I should probably start by getting a land out of the deck. Alright, so we're digging pretty deep, haven't found anything so far. And we're running out of things we can do. And of turn I should make sure to tap my mountain, get an extra counter on the calendar. Now we could just minus Koth again to deal with Dracosaur. Or we can double Brotherhood's Ends, which feels a bit drastic. So let's just uh, cash in our Planeswalker. Has served us well. And then I suppose we could start doubling counters on the calendar. At least we've got some more interaction lined up. Another Dracosaur is not what we wanted to see, though. Okay, Grinder. I think we just go all out, discard our whole hands. And then as soon as we find all will be one, if I can play it with two mana left to activate, it's just game over. So I think I'm going to take a hit from the Dracosaur here. As opposed to casting double Brotherhoods and just want to dig as much as we can. And we might find land plus another Koth. Okay, we found the Great Door, which can make a bunch of mana for us. Currently have land, Planeswalker, Artifact. So it can add battle to the list. So we could still go Iron Crag plus the Great Door, discard Invasion. Sure. I'll just do it now. Okay, so we're kind of all in here on finding our enchantment next turn. And we can dig pretty deep with another invasion. We've seen half of our deck can also transform this, although I'm not sure how relevant that's going to be. Possible I was better off keeping another Invasion of Mercadia in hand. Okay, Pia now can make some Thopters. And there's only one Brotherhood's End left in the deck. But I'll just take... I'll will be one of the top. Take seven. Just a mountain. Okay, start with Invasion. Then we can still activate our Great Door. Probably won't be transforming it, just gonna draw and discard. And there we go. So play it. And then we have just enough mana to activate our calendar. And that's gonna be more than enough. GG's. Exciting game here, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand is not perfect, but it's keepable. We're missing some mana acceleration, and don't have any of our combo pieces, but it's a fine controlling hand with some card selection here. Alatus also synergizes with Carnosaur if we discard it. And now I'm not going to pass up on turn 2 Iron Crag, setting up turn 3 Koth. 
up against a red green could be dinosaurs and I'm happy to finish off a paleontologist here even though Koth could take out larger creatures later in the game Gonna be tricky for them to answer Koth while still developing their board. And then now we get to search up some additional mountains. Alright, opponent is gonna use Carnosaur to answer Koth, but that's their whole turn. Okay, so start with Lattice discarding maybe Brotherhood's end at this point. Even though if our opponent has the uh, four mana dino with a ward, I can take it out with Brotherhood's end without needing to pay ward, as opposed to Carnosaur. So maybe it is still better to ditch Carnosaur here. And that also sets up Orlantis. Can play Reunion, discard land, and still play Calendar. And hopefully find all will be one. There we go. So we've got our combo online. As soon as we play our enchantments. And then we just need to tap this a few times to double the counters to kill the opponent. We're still at 20. I've got a Brotherhood's End in hand. So I'm not hating my chances. Possible our opponents playing with Kogla and Hidaro, which could destroy our enchantments, or maybe a Boseichu could deal with it. So those are the main interactive cards we should worry about. I'm going to be a little bit short of playing All Will Be One and activating Calendar, which would have been the dream. But uh, yeah, we got to get this down. Uh, that's going to be it for now. Next turn we can keep digging with our grinder potentially. Put on cycling Monstrosaur. That's okay. End of turn I want to make sure to tap my mountain to get more counters on our calendar. So they get a window to cast an impactful 6 mana creature. But with All Will Be One we can also just take out those creatures before we start going face. Opponent hits for 2. And yeah, Dracosaur we don't mind since we can just take it out here. So 6 on the Dracosaur. Find Carnosaur, which I can also cast, although probably not as good as just activating Calendar here. So let's play Grinder, discard some stuff. Koth is also great with All Will Be One, but uh, yeah, can just pass here. And this we can activate at instant speed. One damage, not enough to finish off Paleontologist. I guess to play around instant speed, disenchant effects, I should have just used it right away. And the our opponent actually has Kogla and Didaro. That's a shame. Okay, we'll just activate this now. And then go face. Goth can deal with Paleontologist. And then tap these as well. Still have our Tunnel Grinder, which can provide some value. And I guess eventually Calendar would win the game, but unlikely to get there by itself. Kind of regretting discarding my uh, Sweeper here. Also have the Lattice we could use, and actually the combo of a Lattice plus a Reunion to give haste is pretty powerful as well. So where do we want to start? We need 5 mana to activate this, plus 1 for Reunion to give haste. And there's double Carnosaur, so yeah, that might get it done here. I guess it doesn't trample, so opponent can just chum block, and I won't have the mana to also clear path with Koth. But uh, yeah, that seems fun. So exile to Carnosaurs. Give haste. And force them to trump. Uh, 
and then we've still enabled the grinder, and our opponent's just gonna take it. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and yeah, we've got both combo pieces, a bit of interaction, so hopefully we don't get run over. I could definitely see this deck working as a two-color deck, where we maybe play wide for some better sweepers, and for uh, some other cards that can keep us alive until we get to the combo. Turn to briefcase, all right, so we're putting a multicolor deck. And then I'm not opposed to using the tunnel grinder to discard double Carnosaur just to make sure we hit our land drops. All right, we've got a backup all will be one. And next turn I could play the great door, or we could play invasion and then still activate our calendar, so we can maybe activate it once to just end things. Invasion on turn 3, also quite powerful, so... Bones off to a good start. And if they're playing a 5-color deck, they might have Leyline Binding, which can disrupt either Calendar or All Will Be One. So I might want to wait until I can play All Will Be One and activate Calendar to immediately win the game, basically. For now, Invasion... Discarding, what is the question? Maybe the Great Door and then I can still play Atlantis or maybe pick up an Iron Crag that I get to play. Brotherhood's End, not super useful, so that can go. Because if I can wait to play all we want until I can immediately activate it, that would be a big help. Tunnel Grinder would need one more permanent to hit the graveyard before we can uh, transform it into a land, which could give us that small mana boost we need. Opponent with another invasion, so they're going big. And there's another Koth. Alright, I think we play it slow here. Koth plus, and then Grinder is not going to trigger, sadly. But even with them exiling one of my cards with a Leyline Binding, it still wouldn't trigger. Atlantis would maybe trigger if they destroy it, but not if they exile it. So for now, I'll just plus get a Mountain. And kind of hope Koth acts as a distraction, so... They don't focus their attention on the combo. Opponent does have the Leyline Binding. Goes after Koth, perfect. Don't see any black mana, but Gishoth doesn't need it. Okay, let's see how many dinosaurs they can put in play. Haven't seen any so far. But our opponent did find a Hulking Raptor. Well, all of a sudden our opponent's got lethal in play, so that's a little awkward. But now I can go Koth, take out Gishoth. And then next turn we'll have mana for all will be one, activate Calendar to win the game. So hopefully we can survive one more turn. And then I can activate Calendar end of turn as well. Boat on cycles, that's good news. Still need to dodge another Leyline Binding, interfering with the combo. And Koth down. A lore Keeper we don't mind seeing. Alright, one card left in hand, hopefully it's no interaction. And that's going to be 41 damage to the face. Awesome. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we're just missing all will be one to combo off. 
got a couple of lanes, some card draw, and more filtering here to make sure we find whatever we're looking for. So not a bad hand. Turn one lore keeper, so up against dinosaurs. So this Brotherhood's end could be quite useful. And it's gonna be a tough call what to discard now. Might just be the Great Door and hope to find more draw and discard effects later. And then we can curve maybe Brotherhood's end into Koth to keep up with the uh, interaction here. Ooh, Hammer Skull, that's rough. That one we won't be able to deal with quite as easily. Alright, so... Still just gonna play an Iron Crag, I guess. And then we can double counters with Calendar. Yeah, turn to Hammer Skull is not what we wanted to see in the slightest. Hulking Raptor at least dies to Brotherhood's end, so that's not as much of a concern. But getting hit for 6 certainly is. Now the hope is that they can't play another dinosaur, so the Hammer Skull will get a stun counter. Still gonna take us a while to eventually play Koth to finish it off. So yeah, we have to go for it. And then we can activate Calendar once again. That way, if we do find all will be one, if we have the mana to activate, it's game over right away. So Koth the next turn only deals 5 damage, still gonna be one short. Opponent's got another Hulking Raptor, that one we can pay for at least, but does mean we take another 6. So we'll be at 8, so we could beat that to a hasty dinosaur. And Brotherhood's End is almost good enough, but not quite. I guess now we just Brotherhood's End and save Koth for Hammer Skull. And then activate Calendar end of turn once again. So now if we top deck all will be one, we can immediately activate it, but yep, bonus got the Firstborn, which uh, two power haste dino is all they need. So yeah, turn to Hammer Skull, got the job done. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand seems keepable. All will be one is going to be decent just alongside Koth, but of course we're looking for Calendar. And then between Brotherhood's End and Double Koth we've got a decent amount of interaction, so we can hopefully stay alive long enough to pull it off. Well, let's see what we're up against. A Naya deck. Alright, looks like four colors at least, and we did find calendar, perfect. Get that down, and then can also activate it end of turn. Although without any counters, I guess it still helps tap the calendar itself. Opponent's got the briefcase, so we will have to worry about potential leyline binding, messing with some of our permanents. For now, play Koth, and I just like plussing, get a land. Lost. And not too threatened by the citizen, and then Koth might bait out some removal here. Fight rigging, okay, so more of a combo deck. Explains our opponent took a few mulligans to start with if they're looking for specific cards. And yeah, nowadays there's quite a few high-powered creatures at even 2 mana, although at 3 there's now both Shakedown Heavy and the new Dinosaur as well. So I could already play All Will Be One. Could also try to wait another turn. And then for now go Iron Crag, activate Calendar, and then next turn I can play All Will Be One, activate. And then we should just have Lethal. So let's do that. Gonna make it a little bit more unexpected for the opponents. 
And that's what we're all about. So they've got five mana. And yeah, Ancient One, that's a two mana 8-8 eight eight I mentioned earlier. So we'll see what they can cast for free. It's going to be pretty important. All right, just another fight rigging. That's acceptable, since there's hopefully not going to be another turn. Ideally, our opponent taps out, so we don't have to fear any interaction. All right, let's just tap everything. Double counters. Doesn't seem like they've got anything. And then I want to wait to activate Koth until after we play our enchantments. Then I can plus. And then we can activate this at instant speed. For 23 damage, so we'll just do it now. All right, sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand is all discard and draw effects. No interaction is a bit concerning, and no combo pieces. Although we will be able to dig pretty deep, and we have a turn to Iron Crank for a little bit of mana acceleration. So it's not a good hand, but I kind of just want to see what happens. Now we've got a... Carnosaur we can discard for 3 damage. Turn 2 Pia. Alright, there's one of our two combo pieces. Gotta play Iron Crag. And uh, yeah, hope to draw lanes. If not, maybe Carnosaur deals with Pia. Evangelist also going wide with tokens. Okay, so now I could double spell. And uh, yeah, this is tempting. Lattis could also discard Carnosaur to then set up crafts with one or more dinosaurs later. And then have a decent creature back on defense. Yeah, I guess that's not unreasonable. Start with one Lattis, discard Carnosaur. See where we end up. Could also keep it for more interaction next turn, of course. But we might be able to find a Sweeper instead, and it's now a Calendar. So if I play Calendar, next turn we can play All Will Be One, and then we can start taking out creatures before we start going upstairs. So don't mind this. We will need to take a couple of hits here. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to survive in time. Opponent pumping. The bats playing here, making another token. That's a lot of damage. Plus battle cry. Yeah, we're at four. So I don't think I'll be able to survive here. Now I do still have the potential of drawing into a Brotherhood's end, so that's our only way we survive here. And then our opponent will still get a 1 1 bat afterwards. But uh, gotta give it a shot. All right, we're still in it. Still won't have the mana to play All Will Be One and activate Calendar, which is where we want to get to. Duelist goes upstairs. All right, GG's. You got me. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We're just missing our Calendar. Got a bit of ramp, some interaction, so can't complain. Well, let's see what our opponent's up to. Monorets as well. And Militia. Okay, can just wait to Brotherhood's end next turn, perhaps. Although it's not too threatening by itself. Treasure map, a nice reprint. Also a card we could slot into a monocolored control deck like this one. For now, just play Celestus. Can help us maybe discard a mountain later. And the good news is that Monored's not going to have many answers to our enchantment. 
They could potentially destroy our artifacts if we get our calendar. Switches to nighttime. And there's Koth, also very good. But uh, let's get our enchantment in play first. That way Koth can immediately deal damage with our all will be one. And then we can keep fetching additional mountains if we'd like, and then maybe discard them to the Celestis to turn them into something else. Fresh map will transform. Don't need to worry about the fault destroying any of our lands. They're all basic mountains. Now we could also technically Brotherhoods and destroy all their treasure tokens, but that would also blow up my own artifacts, which is probably not worth it. Okay, Carnosaur is kind of scary. It's another militia. So what we could do now is Brotherhoods and deal three, and then still play Koth afterwards to finish off Carnosaur, since we would only have five damage with Koth, which is not enough to take out the Carnosaur. Iron Crag can go. And Invasion of Mercury also pretty good. I guess with All Will Be One it actually works out that we could kill Carnosaur with Koth, since we deal four damage when it enters. Uh, let's see, if I Brotherhood's ends and Invasion of Mercadia, I guess I would probably do the trick as well. So let's try that instead. And then I can deal four more damage. And then discard and draw two. Eh, still no calendar, but we'll find it soon enough. And then we still have Koth to answer another Carnosaur. I wouldn't mind drawing my own copy. Treasure Cove draws with the last treasure token. And another all will be one. Yeah, we could run it out here. <laughs> Three is probably a bit much. But, uh... I'll play another copy, and that will make our cost even more impactful. And then, sure, we'll play the land out, might need it. A Raptor punishes people for casting spells outside of their turn. Alright, so I technically have enough mana for all will be one into Koth, which would then deal 12 damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'll finish off the Raptor, the rest can go face. And then Koth can plus. And that's six more damage. So next turn plusing Koth is lethal. Who needs Calendar after all? Still wouldn't mind finding it, of course. Another treasure map. And yeah, we just need to activate our Planeswalker and that's game. No instant speed life gain out of Monored. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and uh, we're pretty far from assembling the combo, but just having a turn to Iron Crag into a Tunnel Grinder might be an okay start. As we get to potentially discard our entire hands to dig for Calendar and all will be one. Now we just need Calendar. Sprout points towards maybe a self mill deck. Sprout also very good at enabling descents for cards like Stalker. So, a fun new addition in Standard. And there's Stalker. Immediately picks up a counter. Well, we're gonna be under quite a bit of pressure, but now... Brotherhood's end to the rescue. Hoping they play another creature that dies to it. A Micro Tyrant would count. For now, just a tapped Cottage. Alright, definitely need to... Brotherhood's end here before it's too late. Suppose we could also use Carnosaur to just kill the Stalker, but might as well deal with both. 
It looks like they've got a response. Nope. Okay. And Tortoise, not a bad follow-up. Alright, so we could grinder, discard probably everything, but all will be one. Or we can deal with Tortoise before it gets out of hand. And then that's basically my entire turn, which is not all that exciting, to be fair. But I think it's still worth it. Iron Crag is legendary, so I wouldn't be playing the second copy. No legendary creatures to turn it into an equipment in this deck, but plenty of ways to discard it, so it's usually not a concern. Dread Knights we can handle for a while. And two Souls of the Lost, sacking the Dread Knights, and there's now an 8-9. Yeah, that's uh, definitely more of a problem. I guess we just cast Carnosaur, hope to find something good with Discover. And that also gives us a blocker for the time being. We found the Great Door, alright, that can immediately discard the Iron Crag. And then next turn, with a land, we could play All Will Be One and Invasion to deal 4 damage. And I go for the Throat Kills Carnosaur. So we're taking at least 7. So not where we want to be. Did find another Carnosaur, so that's maybe worth a shot. Or I can first activate the Great Door, see what I find, and then decide what to do next. Because let's say we draw land, then it could be to my advantage to go All Will Be One and then play Invasion to take out Dread Knights, who are I guess still dead to the creature land. So yeah, I have to go for Carnosaur here, don't I? Alright, let's go for it, and then I guess we'll activate the Great Door afterwards. Found a Celestus. And then Lattice. So how do we get back in the game here? I'm gonna have to jump, and then to still take 7, so I'll be at 2. So I don't have much wiggle room here to win, even if I find Calendar, it's not going to have any counters on it to start out, so it's going to take me another turn or two to try and stabilize. I don't think we're going to have a chance here if our opponent goes for the creature land, or if they just have another removal spell, we're dead. Either way, I guess Grinder can go. Alatus might have a bit of synergy with the Carnosaur times 2 that's in the graveyard. Maybe we can steal a win with the Lattice, crafting a dinosaur, although still wouldn't have the mana to give haste if I pick up the uh, two mana enchantments. And a pylon is just going to end things right now. Alright, that's too bad. A large soul of the lost, just too big for our red removal to handle. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand is a bunch of three damage effects. No ramp, no combo pieces, no draw and discard. So not loving it, but mulliganing is also kind of rough on the play, especially. At least we've got spells we can cast. So I'll try it. Maybe a more controlling approach where we play Koth, get some mountains, and then just hard cast Carnosaur could work out. Put on green-white, so Brotherhood's Ends may be effective in the matchup. Put on just making a map token for now. And there's Kellen. For now I think use Carnosaur, hang on to Brotherhood's End for later. In case we can catch multiple creatures or some tokens. 
and then hope they play another single creature we can finish off with Koth. Another Kellen. I guess that counts. Opponent with triple Kellen. And then now Warden can tap all those map tokens to pick up a plus one counter. Nice. Now I could also destroy the artifacts with Brotherhood's End. Although the creatures are still probably more threatening. So yeah, for now Koth, kill Warden. And then next turn I can get a mountain and then we'll see if we want a Brotherhood's End afterwards or not. So there's Kellen number two, and a Thalia. Okay, Thalia could be somewhat annoying. Luckily doesn't tax our Carnosaur's ability, but I probably want to keep it to just cast for six mana. And then for now we'll brother its end, even though it means losing Koth. And then I can still play a one mana calendar. Alright, so if Carnosaur discovers all will be one, I'm going to be pretty happy. Evangelist makes sense. That seemed like a pretty nice addition to standard. Alright, Carnosaur, what do you have for us? A Lattice. That's two more cards here. And there's all will be one, perfect. So it's not going to be quite lethal next turn, but we're getting close. Soul Partition, we don't mind. And Thalia does mean I need to pay 6 mana for All Will Be One, so I can't immediately activate Calendar afterwards, which is relevant. So now we maybe do want to Brotherhood's End, wipe the board again. Um, and then next turn we should be able to play All Will Be One, activate and immediately win the game, which seems like the safest way forward. And then end of turn we'll make sure to activate Calendar. We also have a Carnosaur in the graveyard, so it could potentially craft with Dinosaur. Yeah, definitely got lucky to draw our fair share of sweepers in this matchup. Kellen puts Soul Partition on top, so that could try and mess with Calendar. But uh, yeah, hopefully they won't get the opportunity. And if turn activate Calendar, make sure to tap an extra Mountain as well. 22 counters, make that 30. So now all will be one. Activates, and that's 30 damage to the face. Awesome. Alright, so we got to combo kill some people with All Will Be One and Calendar. Now, this deck could still go in a few different directions. I do like the main combo pieces of Calendar plus All Will Be One, but we don't have to go mono red, even though Koth was a very nice addition to the archetype. If we go red white, we can pick up cards like Sunfall as a more effective sweeper at 5 mana that exiles larger creatures. We could also play Sunset Revelry as another card that can kind of buy us time and try and stall out the game a little bit. And then uh, hopefully we still have enough draw and discard to eventually find our combo pieces so there's certainly a few other directions we can go in but for now this mono red build seemed fun and featured a few new cards so seemed worth a shot so that'll do it for today's gameplay want to thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and as always have a nice day